like this. You got to kind of click on this side and press enter. Oh, there we okay? go. All right. Your first word today is admonish. Say that nice and loud. Admonish. A-D-M-O-N-I. Is there an echo? S. H. Here is your sentence. My mom admonished me for jumping out of the tree without thinking. What part of speech is this word? Admonish. What part of speech is this word? Kyle? Good job. It's a verb. How'd you know it was a verb? Yeah, it's something that she's doing. Fantastic. I'm sorry? Um, without is one word, yes. What do you guys think this word admonish might mean? Admonish. Will, what do you think? Like make fun of. No, nope, not make fun of, but you're kind of sort of on the right track, but wrong train. Owen? You're on the right track. You're on the right track, Kyle. You're on the right track. Anthony? Um, like, like, how, like, um, uh, I can't really explain it. Okay, it's all right. Like, Joe? To be, like, ashamed of you. Okay, so you guys are all on the right track. It means to warn or to scold, but in a loving way. So it's usually if someone's admonishing you, it's like a teacher or a parent or an older brother or sister that wants to just make sure you're okay and cares about you. So it's to warn. What? To warn or scold in a loving way. Yes, Mike, question. Do we have to know if it's a verb or not? Well, it's just going to help you um, when you're looking at the definitions and using it in a sentence. It's just going to help you. All right. Adam Fish, admonish Adam Fish, says, Swim, fish, swim for your life. Constantly combing the waters for lurking danger, Adam warns his friends of nearby sharks. Sometimes his friends pay him no attention. So Adam Fish must admonish his friends, saying, Listen here, my fish friends. You must go now before you're devoured for dinner. On the count of three, you'll be under a rock. So Adam Fish admonishes his fish friends. So let's draw Adam here. And he's like, Be careful. And here's the other little fishies that are swimming around. And here... Here is the shark, and here's the rock that they're going to hide under. So go ahead and snap the picture. Bringing science into vocabulary. Adam Fish. So your sounds like on the other side is going to be Adam Fish. Adam Fish. Your next word. Oh, you need a minute? Oh, okay. Take, can you take a picture of Elena, of Sarah's picture? No picture up there, you know that, right? Oh. 
<laughs> take a picture. Maybe take a picture of Devin's picture that he drew. Your next word, while people are finishing up, is altruistic. Say that nice and loud. Altruistic. A L T R U I S T I C. Altruistic. Here's your sentence. Bill and Linda Gates are very, yes, altruistic people who donate millions of dollars each year to charity. What part of speech is this word, altruistic? What part of speech is this word? What do you guys think? Elena? It's an adjective. How'd you know that? Good, it's describing the people. So, ADJ. What do you guys think this word might mean? Altruistic. What kind of people might they be? What do you think, Will? They're like rich, but they're generous about it. Generous. Okay. Unselfish. Caring for others. Caring. Excellent, Mike. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. So we're, we're going to go unselfish or caring. And all those words you just said would be great for your synonyms page. If you're altruistic, you always put others first. I don't know. I don't really know the history of their marriage, but you could certainly look into that. She is now. Yeah, she, she, she is now. <laughs> All right, here's your story for altruistic. Are we ready out there? A man named Al True, has a wish stick or magic wand. He uses it to help people by giving them whatever they need. If you need something, Al will gladly help you. He will use Al True's wish stick to help you and grant your wishes. You can tell Al is altruistic because he's always helping others. Okay? So let's draw Al. I kind of picture Al as having one of those like wizard hats with the stars all over it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And here is Kyle who has just been granted one million dollars from Al True. Thanks, Al True. Yep, grab that picture real quick, guys. And then once you're done with your picture on the other side, you're going to write Al True's Wish Stick. Everybody get it? Al True's wish stick. Al, I'm trying to write it on there. It's just my computer is taking a minute. Al True's wish stick. Like this, guys. All right. 
And then your last word for today is bumptious. Everybody say that nice and loud. Bumptious. Bumptious. It's a fun one to say. Bumptious. <laughs> Yeah? Good. All right. Let's turn off the uh, running commentary, please. Here is your sentence. It's right over there. Some people... consider... LeBron James to be a bumptious player, comma, as he refers to himself as King James. You didn't even let me finish if you could say something or not. You just said it. Yes, Joe. Life must be good for King James. Hey guys, what part of speech do you think this word is? Bumptious. What part of speech do you think it is? Take a look at what's happening in the sentence. What do you think this part of speech is? Nora? You're right. How'd you know it was an adjective? Yeah, we're describing LeBron. What do you think this word might mean, Thomas? What do you think? Sort of like brag or like... Exactly. Oh, oh, exactly. Cocky. Yep. Arrogant. Yes. Okay, so arrogant, boastful. He thinks very highly of himself. Yep, arrogant. We'll say arrogant. Thinks highly. of oneself. Here is our story for Bumptious. A man and a woman are playing chess. The man is annoying, pushy, and rude. Whenever he captures one of his opponent's pieces, he bumps it off the board and yells out, Bump chess! I love this game, and I really love winning. Go ahead and move it so it moves, so it will be my turn again. I can't wait to bump another one of your chess pieces. The bumptious man says bump chess is his favorite game. Yep, so let's draw this guy. Maybe it is LeBron. And he's really happy because he's just... <laughs> so here's the chess board, and then here's the other piece of chess that's Kobe. flying off. At least Kobe's five rings. Kobe's wife. That's a Kelly, whatever. Kobe's better than me. All right, why don't you take a picture? There he is. Mm -hmm. Arrogant, thinks highly of oneself. It's still up there. See it? Okay. So once you're done with your picture, you can turn it over, and on the other side, you can write bump chess That's the last word. for today.